So, it has been like a couple months since I've uploaded. Um, how are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty well. Um, life is still st the same, you know. I'm still in school, doing college, I'm still working at Domino's for a little bit longer, you know. I applied for a job as a substitute teacher. I, I took my uh, teaching exam, my practice exam. So, uh, yeah, besides that, life is just going, you know. I haven't been playing Yu Gi Oh! as much, but you guys know. Uh, you guys used to know that I love doing banlist videos. OCG just got the new banlist, so I wanted to give my input. Despite not really playing the game as much, I have a more conservative outlook towards the game and towards cards. So I just wanted to give my two cents. And uh, if anybody's here to still watch, then hey, you know, you get a video from me. You know, uh, I'm not planning on coming back to the channel or anything like that. I'm not gonna, you know, jump to that conclusion or anything like that. But um, you know, I can occasionally squeeze in like a video every now and then when it comes to a ban list because, I mean, it's probably one of the most interesting aspects of the game. Um, if you're probably listening, you're probably like, you sound a little bit different. Uh, during the time that I went away and came back, I actually have braces now. Got, uh, you know, uh, definitely one of the things that I wrap in Daily Duel is that I need to get braces, I ended up getting braces. So, yep, yep, grown man with braces. Anyway, let's go ahead and hop right into it. So, the October 1st. Uh, forbidden list. We're still waiting for that TCG list, you know, despite me not really playing Yu-Gi-Oh! as much, uh, definitely keep my eyes uh, out looking for that uh, TCG list. They said it was going to be sometime in you know, August, September, and we still haven't got it yet, so I'm like, eh. But of course, OCG, they're always on the dot, and they they always get their list right on time. So let's go ahead and look at their list and see if we can maybe get some precedence and carry over ours. So uh, newly forbidden, we have Masterpiece and Dragonic Dra Diagram. Like, wow. I mean, uh, I was thinking about maybe putting up a banlist prediction, but I felt like I wouldn't have a lot of uh, influence and enough uh, information since I really don't play competitively, and I'd just be kind of nitpicking and probably too uh, conservative with the ideas. But one of the ideas that I was definitely jumping in my mind was uh, Masterpiece Ban, you know. I'd probably put it in the same boat as uh, Towers, and Masterpiece, he pretty much does the same thing. I know a lot of people are discussing that should be limited, but you really only need one. You know, you just bust out that one masterpiece, and if they can't get around it, you know, and deep shit. So, uh, and that would definitely be the way to kill the deck. It's just ban masterpiece. So that's interesting that they went ahead and did it. They they limited him, and now they just banned him. So masterpiece is banned, and uh, dragonic diagram. That that's a really interesting one. You know, uh, they limited it down to one, and now they're just like, let's get this uh, masterpiece true Jayco deck out of here. So, uh, Diagram Band uh, is really interesting, and uh, I it kind of hurts True Kings, it really does, but um, just the fact that they decided to just go ahead and ban Diagram and Ban SP just seems like they're trying to move out True Dracos and move on to something new. So, uh, th those are pretty interesting uh, forbidden. Definitely didn't think they were going to take it that far, especially the Diagram, but alright, alright. All right, newly forbidden. So, uh, charm infecting virus. All right, you know a lot of people have been saying that for years now. Ever since they started, you know, unbanning cards, charm infecting is probably one of the ones that people said you know sprung it back. Uh, of course, it can be a field wiper with depending on what monsters on the field and what uh, cards you pitch. Uh, definitely a powerful card in go format. But um, remember, OCG I believe only has what one dark hole one of their um, kaiju slumber and three turns of trivia while we have the dark hole and the regeki so um you know i mean kind of replace the fact that they don't have as many uh dark holes and regekis as us here in the tcg so all right alistair uh yeah you know if they're gonna go ahead and just reset the entire format you know because if they just would have hit you know masterpiece and maybe uh maybe the dinosaurs a little bit it wouldn't have been enough to uh create a new format, you know, you, they would just fell on the old deck, so the fact that they're hitting all the, you know, the tier 2 stuff with, with the tier 1 stuff kind of makes it seem like, uh, we'll, we'll have to see, but it seems like they'll go ahead and create a new format, maybe with more uh, Link uh, involved, so that's an interesting, you know, Alistair, that's, that's definitely a fine limit, while uh, that engine and that deck is definitely not dead, it definitely hurts, and you know, you gotta be careful, you know, because you know, if you think that you're just gonna run around with an Alistair deck and Volk deck, you know, all someone has to do is just hit you with a, you know, uh, you know, one good card and you could be all over, you know, uh, especially since he's just down to one now. So your consistency is definitely lowered. And your consistency was high, but now, just a little hit. Uh, uh, 
Dynamite, definitely. He he was you know if it wasn't masterpiece getting hit, it was definitely gonna be him. He is the the core of the the True King deck. So the fact that he also got limited just means that they're just done with this True King deck. So yeah, that's a good. Hit. And then they also hit Soul Eating and Baby Star. Uh, uh, baby star so they want to hit the dinosaurs too. true king dinos get it as well see they're just tearing down the meta so those are definitely good hits as well uh that's your stratos and of course baby stars that whole popping and summoning is uh definitely good as well and that hit with along with the diagram it's just ah and then uh you know abc started popping up a little bit and in the ocg as well so they decided to limit that as well so now um abc dragon buster down to one and they're uh their field spell is also hit as well, but as well as you can see, terraforming uh, limited to one is definitely something that we should also do here in the TCG. Uh, I mean, it's a searcher for your searcher pretty much because of how powerful field spells have been lately. Uh, just being able to search for everything with terraforming uh, with your field spells, it definitely a warrants a hit. Uh, Denlong, Denlong, you only need one Denlong, you know, I'm not really playing the game much, but I do pay attention, you really need one Denlong, it's not like you see them playing multiple Denlong, so that's kind of a pointless hate, if they really wanted to do something about Denlong, they could have banned him, because you only play one anyway, so that really doesn't change much. My Spellbook of Secrets, they hit your, uh, your Spellbook drawing engine, I mean, they stopped playing that, but I guess, you know, as I said, it's the whole falling back on thing, so... Uh, you know, just hit the consistency of that. If you want to play your blue boys to search it, you can't. Uh, like I said, you you know, your Alistar is hit, uh, and your uh, Spellbook of Secrets searching is hit, so uh, that engine right there is definitely hit as well. And then they're not even done because you also got True Draco Heritage and True, True King's Return both hit. So that, I mean, you might as well just take your True King deck and just throw it in the trash because you, you just got wrecked. Like, you know, we thought a zoo got hit hard in uh in uh OCG, like goddamn, you know. That's definitely that's one of the things, is that they're they're really liberal when it comes to things in OCG, but when they wanna be, you know, hard hitting, they will hit hard, you know. Us in the TCG, we like to lollygag, we we uh, you know, we give it time, we we try things out. They they just go behind the the top tier deck they wanna hit and they just snap that deck's neck so quick and it's just like, Oh, okay, now that escalated quickly. Alright. And then, uh, Trickstar Reincarnation, I right, definitely know about that card. That card shouldn't have been made, let alone, you know, so definitely, I mean, it's fine, you know. Uh, hopefully that'll be enough. If we have to ban it, I mean, it's a sacky ass card, so sure, but I don't even know when I made that card. You know, a searchable card like that, and it's not once per turn, that card is just, ugh, so it's sacky. So, yeah, yeah, I can definitely see them go ahead and limiting that, so. Uh, some fairly good, fairly good limits. Go ahead and move on to the summer limits. So, uh, summer limits, we have Summoner Monk. Alright, well, we have two Summoner Monk. Uh, they limited Summoner Monk back in the Hero era, you know. Uh, of course, you know, Summoner Monk can summon that, uh, that, uh, Shadow Mist, and it's kind of like, uh, you know, and OCD didn't like that, so they limited Summoner Monk. But they brought him back up to two, so now they're even with us. Uh, Ice Bath, I, I always thought, you know, when everybody was talking about hitting cards, I was like, I was like, eventually this Wind Witch engine, this is going to need to hit this one card, Crystal Mess, it's, it's ridiculous, you know. So, definitely, if you're going to point a finger at anybody when it comes to that engine, it's definitely going to be Ice Bell. I would not be surprised if they limit Ice Bell, uh, you know, because two is still, you know, good enough, you know, two is still enough to warrant playing that uh, engine, you know. Uh, you know, you could just do like two ice bell, two winter bell, and one of the snow bells, or whatever the level one is, and just bust out of, you know, one card Christmas still. So, so good. Uh, they decided to go ahead and, uh, limit maxi. So, uh, you know, a lot of people were arguing, stating that, you know, OCG has, you know, three maxi. Maxi shouldn't be limit, you know, shouldn't be hit, cause OCG has maxi. And see, now they're starting to hit maxi as well, and I would not be surprised. I'm definitely in the belt that maxi should be banned, you know. It's just too powerful with hand trap. Hand traps are very, very powerful. Um, to, you know, you take a neck with it. Maxi, you know, I dropped that Maxi and I even, even out to being plus more and I stop you, delay your play, kind of like a Dimensional Barrier. I mean, Maxi is just a really unhealthy card. It's pretty much like a, a Dimensional Barrier kind of Vanities card, you know. So, three, of course, wouldn't be healthy and two wasn't that great. One's not, you know, now it's just a sacky card and I knew it was going to be. So, just ban it. Just get it out of here, you know. So, uh, OCG also hit it, so there goes your excuse for, uh, one of your reasons why, uh, Maxi shouldn't be hit. Avarice, they brought Avarice to two, that's interesting. So it seems like maybe they're separating from, I mean, this is, of course, one of their, uh, more liberal things. They, you know, the old cards, if they don't see play, they just bring them back instead of just being, you know, being like, hey, this card was a problem before, this, there's a reason why we hit it, they're just like, hey, we haven't seen this card in a while, let's go ahead and have it. And then it 
gets to be a problem. So they kind of take a, a different approach than the TCG, where we're like, you did something in the past, and you're going to pay your crime until, you know, 10 years until you get moved. So, uh, average to two. All right, all right. So, uh, of course, it's it's better than Jar of Avarice, because, I mean, the card is just slow. It's a trap card. You only draw one. I mean, you get to put, you know, all cards back, and not just monsters, but, you know, you don't get that nice plus one. Um, and, of course, recycling your monsters can be great in certain decks as well. So, a very powerful card to see at two, and possibly three, knowing OCG. Future Fusion into two. Uh, Future Fusion is still a very powerful card. Probably one of the few cards that they are rotted that's still very powerful in the right hand, so... Um, that's interesting as well, and then Fossil Dig, just more dinosaur hit, so, alright, so you hit Fossil Dig, and you hit the, uh, the Soul Eating, so they're just, like, not lower that consistency. Alright, those are all for the semi limits, and let's move on to the unlimits. Uh, perform a power Doom Sorcerer, that's fine, we have him at three, which is the Black Forest, that's fine. Uh, I believe she has an errata similar to Sand Game, so, whatever, no one's gonna really play her anyway. Skarm, so you're starting to move off some of the Burning Abyss cards. Um, I believe they hit Skarm, and... Dante, I want to say. I think they only have one Dante. So, uh, Dante still, you know, as long as you, I mean, I mean, look at, look at this, you know. There's a whole entire time with TCG, we were hitting every other card but Dante, when OCG could just, like, hit Dante, you know, and then they bring all the other cards back, it's just Dante at one. So, um, Rescue Cat, you know, with Serata, uh, it's still a powerful card, but, I mean, I, you know, makes your, uh, Rescue card better. So, Burial, that is... That's interesting that they brought Burial to three. You know that that could be that could be interesting. You know, you know, with your uh, you know, two future fusions and your three burials, and I don't believe that they hit. Um, the grass is greener. You know, we could probably see like an insurgence of Infernoids, especially since they're you know not really reliant on the extra deck and they can play in link format. That might be interesting. You know, uh, I think they still have one or two of that stank bitch. Maybe one. I want to say one. So. Uh, Tanky, of course, since zoo is gone, you can go ahead and move up Tanky, that's fine. Preparation of Rites, mm, back to three, that's, that's, that's interesting. Uh, Sacrifice, okay, so I think Cleese literally have everything, everything, you know, like, okay. Uh, Domain of the True Monarch, so they're pretty much just letting Monarchs off the hook now. Wavering Eyes, un, I mean, I know Pendulums are kind of dead with the new wave, but I think that card is still kind of ridiculous, you know? Like, Sacrifice and Wavering Eyes, like, OCG, I don't think they even banned, uh, Tower, so, I mean, OCG, you know, it's just like, hey, hey, this, this, this boss monster, this, uh, this guy, he's an asshole, let's go ahead and ban him, and then you're just like, here you go, here you go, have Tower Turbo again, because I think they pretty much have everything for Tower Turbos again, you know? Now three sacrifice, they have three of their scouts, they have the wavering eyes, you know, they still have chicken game and stuff. I can definitely see them doing um tower turbo again, you know? And they still have three skill drain, so you know, do you think that uh a pendulum deck is dead? Don't don't let Klee sneak up on you, but don't put away your kaijis just because uh uh masterpieces being this towers will get you. So alright, OCG. And, uh, Dragon Ravine, they finally, finally, OCG put it up to, uh, three. Now we gotta do the same. So I definitely see some things that we can go ahead and copy paste, uh, from the OCG's list right here to our hopefully coming soon CCG list. But, uh, overall, it's just a very hard hitting list, you know? They hit the tier one stuff, they hit the tier two stuff, they pretty much, uh, try to tear down the meta and they're gonna go ahead and rebuild into a new format with hopefully more link influence. But, uh, uh, definitely an interesting lesson. Looking forward to seeing what we take from this as precedence and seeing what we do with the TCG list. So, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I know it was kind of sudden, but I just thought, hey, let me just go ahead and do this because I haven't talked to you guys in a while. I said I have no plans on coming back to the channel anytime soon. Uh, but I just want to give uh, get this video out to you guys. So, um, in the comment section below, just tell me how you guys are doing. How's your life going? If anybody actually watches this video, if anybody's still here, I mean, I understand if you're not, that's fine. I just wanted to go ahead and put out something for you guys. So, uh, looking forward to talking to you guys. So, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and previous support as well. And, uh, hopefully I will go ahead and see you for a video for the TCG Vanquist. Alright, thanks for watching.